Welcome to the wild, wild west of TikTok. These days, everyone is curious about TikTok, but the best way to learn is to do. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can make a TikTok video for your business. And stay tuned until the end where I'm gonna share with you my top performing TikTok video that I made to grow my business. TikTok has already worked for me, Elise Dharma, at Elise Dharma over on TikTok. I started experimenting with TikTok not too long ago, just making fun videos. And yet I'm already seeing TikTok drive people over to my business. Just like this screenshot, I received a message from someone who found me on TikTok and then found my free masterclass. That is a new lead. I'm Elise Dharma and I've taught thousands of entrepreneurs like yourself how to use Instagram to become a revenue stream in your business. But in today's video, I'm sharing how to make a TikTok video for your business. If you've ever wanted to be on the cutting edge of social media and to jump on a trend while it's still growing, you're in the right place. Let's dive in and let's make a TikTok video. The first step to creating a TikTok video is to figure out the type of video that you want to create for your business. Luckily, I covered this in a video, this one right here, where I gave you five TikTok video ideas that you can create for your business. Let's start on my profile. So here I am on the me tab. Of course, if I ever want to look for fun videos, I just go to home or discover and TikTok's going to show me what's trending or what's curated for me. But from what I've found on the app, the best place to start is on your home profile and then hit the flag button. That's where I have saved some of my favorites. So videos, hashtags, sounds, and effects. My favorite part right now on TikTok is saving sounds. So if there's a song or just an audio clip that I really like and I find funny, I save it here. So you can see I've been busy. I've saved a lot. So as an example, let's play this sound by Victoria Adams. No, like I've never heard of that. Like I've never heard of it. I, guys, got. <laughs> So for demonstration purposes, let's say we want to make a TikTok using that sound where I'm gonna lip sync over her audio. So what I'm gonna do is select it and then hit the red check. And now TikTok is going to ask me to record. Before you hit the record button, there's a few tips that I have for you that I've since discovered since making my first TikTok video. So especially for a lip sync type video, you're going to want to use the timer button. So that gives you a countdown. And the other cool thing is if you want to record your audio in clips, you can use this red marker to mark the stop point. So if I want TikTok to stop recording me at the five second mark, it will with that marker. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let's give myself a three second countdown. And, oh, actually one thing else, one thing before the countdown, the 0.5x, the 1x, the 2x, that allows you to film either sped up or slow. So especially for a lip sync type video, I find that slowing down the audio makes it easier for you to follow. So I'll show you what that sounds like. Let's try 2x. No, like I've never heard of that. So it's completely slowed her audio down, which will allow me to follow along. So let's exit out and we'll reshoot. So this is how I recommend to shoot a lip sync video. Start at the 2x, which will slow it down, and then hit the timer button. You can give yourself a stop marker if you'd like, and then give yourself a three second, timed, uh, three second countdown. So let's try it. No, like I've never heard of that. Like I've never heard of it. I Okay, so because I did a stopper in the audio, TikTok has stopped it at that point. And it also allowed me to film it in slow motion. So I'll show you what this looks like. So let's hit the check. No, like I've never heard of that. Like I've never heard of it. I you can see when TikTok's playing it back, they're playing it back at regular speed, but now you have that sped up look to you because we filmed in slow-mo. I hope that makes sense. So those are two of the handiest editing features that I've found if 
you're creating something using someone else's audio or even your own, it's to use the slow down or speed up speeds and then using that timer. That timer is really important to give yourself a countdown or to give yourself an audio stopper. It literally took me weeks to find that feature and figure out how people were filming TikToks in little clips. Well, they're using that audio stopper and you can see right here, like TikTok is asking me to complete the audio with the blue bar at the top. I haven't finished it. So let's go ahead and finish it. So then just go ahead and hit record. Guys, guys, I'm not dumb. I'm literally, I'm not dumb. Guys. Okay, I'm still filming in slow mo, but now it plays in regular speed. I guys guys guys. I'm so I'm not dumb. I'm literally I'm not dumb. The last thing I want to show you is how to add text. So it's pretty straightforward, but let's say we add a caption like I don't know. Guys, I'm not dumb, because that's what she's saying in the clip. And that's what I want to label it. One thing I've learned about TikTok videos is you don't want to put text in the bottom quarter of the video, and you also want to keep it away from the edges. See how the, the menu items pop up as I get close to the right edge? You don't want to put text there because then all those icons cover it when you publish. So I do find that the top area is safe, top and centered. And I'll just put it on my forehead and let's do one more. And I'll just say, but for real. And of course you can go through all the colors and choose the one you like, and you can choose the backdrop. It's very similar to Instagram in that sense. The one thing I want to show you about text is that you can time when it's going to show up on screen. So let's say I want guys, I'm not dumb on the top of my video the entire time but I want the second text, but for real, to show up at a certain point. So you're just gonna go to set duration and then drag the red marker to where you want this text to pop up or when you want it to pop up. So if you wanna play and see what it looks like, just hit the play button. I, guys, guys, ah! So let's say we actually want it to pop up when I start my transition here. So I want this to be the point where but for real pops up. And again, you can hit play to see what it looks like. I, guys, got. And then hit check. So now we've added timed text to our TikTok. So those are the main features I wanna show you. Of course, if you swipe left or right, you can change filters. And then there are stickers just like Instagram where you can add them in, you can have them timed and popping up at a certain, certain time. But I don't play around with them too much, not yet anyway. I usually just play around with the features in terms of the music, the timing, and my text. So now that my TikTok is done, I'm just gonna hit next. This is where I'm gonna do generally a one-line caption. And I find that the more personality you can share in that caption, the better. Like, it's just kind of TikTok culture in a way. Um, so it's not a place to be promotional or even too literal. You almost want to be sarcastic and ironic if you can. And then of course, you're going to drop in your hashtags that are relevant to what you're talking about in your video. Um, sometimes there's challenges relating to this video. For example, this video might have a hashtag of guys, I'm not dumb, maybe. Guys, I'm not. Okay, nope, there's just a lot of other terrible hashtags that pop up. <laughs> but you, if you just wanna double check that the audio you're using, um, it might already have a hashtag around it, so make sure you're jumping on that. So maybe we'll do hashtags for TikTok in a separate video on a separate day, but make sure you fill in your caption and your hashtags, turn on all the settings that you want if you want it to be public, if you wanna allow comments, and then hit post, and then you're good to go. So what's my top performing TikTok video so far? Well, looking at my feed, I definitely have a top performing video not related to business, which is the Fire Festival one, but my actual top performing one for business is this one. It's a demo that I spent maybe 10 minutes making, and for whatever reason, the TikTok algorithm picked it up and has continued to show it to people in my local area 
and people who are following these hashtags. So this was a really fun surprise to wake up one morning and suddenly see this video with 20,000 views. Now it's already up to 40,000 and counting. I hope you found that demo of how to make a TikTok video helpful. I know there were some features there that I had been looking around for so long, so I kind of wish I had this video like months ago. So hopefully that saves you some time when you're making your TikToks for your business. But if you're not feeling the TikTok hype and the TikTok app, of course there's still the tried and true Instagram tool for your business. I have a free masterclass where I teach you, the business owner, how to use Instagram so that you create more leads and sales in your business. So I'll leave the link for that masterclass right below this video. And if we haven't connected yet, go ahead and find me at Elise Dharma over on Instagram and TikTok. To ease and revenue, I'll see you in the next video. You made it, you made it to the end of this video. Now, if you haven't caught my first video on how to use TikTok for your business, head right here, click on that video box and you'll be taken right to it.